At Forge Line, we make custom wheels, and we basically make them four at a time, built to your specifications. On our fitment sheet, the first couple things we ask you are front spacing and back spacing, and the front spacing is basically the, the mounting pad to the fender, and the back spacing is from the, the mounting pad back to the closest suspension point or a point of interference. And you can find that again on our video from the 48-hour Camaro. The thing that most people leave off is the hub. And the, the hub and the brake have a huge effect on what type of wheel we can build you. Because somehow we've got to cover this hub. And uh, most people don't think it's important. They don't understand why it's important. If we put this wheel actually on here, you'll see that this wheel was not designed for this hub. So the cap's not going to go on. In order to fix that, we would have had to make this pad taller, which would bring the wheel out. If you have clearance to your fender, then that's not a problem. But if it didn't, we would have to switch the rim shells. So the bigger this pad is here, in order to cover the hub, the smaller the lip, you're gonna, the lip size you're gonna have. If you have, the opposite is true, is if you have no hub here, and you also have brake clearance here, like this, there's plenty of brake clearance, so we could actually mill the pad down to get closer to the brake, but because of the hub, we can't do that. But if you have like a C5 or a C6 hub, it's only a half inch tall, we could get rid of a lot of this pad and actually give you a bigger lift. With all of the correct information, this enables us to make the best possible wheel for your application. It gives you the biggest lip, it gives you the look that you're looking for. If you still have questions, give us a call. We do this every day.